2013 was the year of the hamster, to me at least. And they seem to be saying that now we're in the year of the horse, which I'm not terribly a fan of because they eat all of my apples and remind me that Harry Morgan passed away. So instead, I'm going to spend Fridays this year digging into the latest box of Famicom titles sent by our illustrious benefactress, starting with... Bird Week. That's the name of the game. Bird Week. And it's, uh, about birds. Alright, so it's a very, very thin Famicom game about feeding baby birds, and the gameplay is all kinds of repetitive, but I'm willing to review anything that lets me forget about this cold and pretended spring. Even if it's in my own little head. Bird Week Engage. Yeah, that's about it. Playing as a mother bird, your task is to collect butterflies, one at a time, and feed them to your fledglings when they get hungry. Wait too long to feed them and they die. Get hit by anything whatsoever while in flight and you die. Fortunately, despite being a... I, I think that's a sparrow? Pretty big for a sparrow, but I don't care. Despite being a sparrow, you're fairly resourceful and capable of not just intricate flight patterns to escape danger, or squirrels as the case may be, but also equipped with the ability to grab mushrooms from the forest floor and use them as bombs. Bombs which kind of disregard the mechanics of flight, but bombs nonetheless. Sometimes you might just find yourself so bored waiting for your kids to get hungry that you just go hunting for trouble because you're a vengeful bastard. Or I guess in this case, that'd be a vengeful task bird. Oh, there's a bonus stage! Or you get to pluck sardines out of the air mid-flight. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why sardines don't have a space program. It's all because of this sparrow right here. Ultimately, you're going for score, as it is, after all, just an old 8-bit game without much else to do, and if decimating a school of sardines is what you have to do in order to achieve it, so be it. At least it proves that there is a second piece of music in this game, a slight deviation from the interminable waltz that plays every other moment of the Bird Week experience. Why do you think birds can waltz while carrying mushrooms? So, um, that's Bird Week. A trek through the same couple stage designs over and over again in front of one piece of music until your brain runs out your ears and freezes into brain sickles that may be mistaken for high fashion pairs of earrings. I suppose it's a nice touch that the colors cycle so as to indicate seasons, not unlike that damnable forest stage in Mickey Mouse Capade, but unless you feel like rolling through the bird week equivalent of about 30 years, there is no end in sight. And birds don't live that long, except for one particularly long-lived Canada goose on record, and I'm fairly certain that's the one that redecorated my car in Guano Deco style last time I was on Earth. Welcome to Famicom Friday, folks. At least it's not Shark Week. <laughs>